how do we judge whether we're successful at stomping out support? Well, we have a number called REM. Now, I'd love to say it was our idea, but it was a guy called Gary Pika in the States who is kind of the MSP godfather, if you like, the IT support company godfather. Mm -hmm. And his metric was very, very simple. He goes, take all of that reactive hours you're delivering to your clients, divide it by the number of end users you support, and that's your REM. Now, what does a good REM look like and what does a bad REM look like? Well, it depends how much you're charging. But if you want to be effective, you should not be delivering any more than half an hour of support per end user per month. If you're below that, you're on the right track. We have been below that for nine years now. Our net admins are part of their process every month have to analyze their clients and say, oh, hang on a minute, why has that one got a bit of a higher REM? What did they do? And then give them a call, find out. Oh, you keep unplugging that cable that runs through the cleaner's office or something. Stop doing it. Move <laughs> the cable. What's the permanent corrective action? That's a flavor for how for how we do things and how we determine whether we're being successful stamping out support or not. Yeah, and it's a really simple metric, isn't it? Yeah, and it can't be argued with. I mean, it's inspired, you know. Hats off, Gary Pika. You nailed it with that one. <laughs> I know that when we... Um... When we have our Friday meetings and we have the, uh, we call them the top offenders, so the highest REM clients. As an admin, you do not want to be in that top five list. <laughs> so there's there's definitely motivation internally to to really look at what, if there is a customer that's REM is, is moving up, what are the actual causes of that? And that can be found by doing our standardization visits, presenting the client with recent cases, what things have taken a long time, talking to the help desk. It's always at the forefront of, of our minds as an admin. Yeah. Everyone really is, is a little bit keyed into it as well.